Good day everyone. Today on the bench I'm going to tie you up Brent's Bloody Butcher. Now here's a fly that uh, originated back, called uh, the fly called the Butcher, originated back in the 19th century. I've seen one of my old fly tying books here, a lot of um, flies out of England so forth. It was just a pretty fly and I was starting to tie it at that time and I thought well it'd be just, just fun and look, look kind of cool. So I uh, actually changed it up over the years. <laughs> I was quite surprised how how much the fish liked it too and uh, we tricked it out now and this is what I call my version. It's Brent's Bloody Butcher and I'll give you the materials we need to tie the fly. I'm going to use a 3x long again number 10. It's a 1710 to each. You can use a comparable in any hook manufacturer you like. I'm going to use some uh, flash. I've got some uh, polar, kind of a light blue polar flash, whatever you like, for the uh, underwing. Uh, the overwing uh, called for original pattern of duck quill, kind of a blue, uh, blackish blue uh, duck quill, but what I'm going to use is blue uh, guinea fowl and uh, gives it a nice variation as well. The throat, you can use straight um, grizzly, or here's kind of a Dark Dun Grizzly, I'm going to use that, and a little webby. The tail, we'll use some red saddle again. Okay. And also for the body, we're going to use some red, or red, we're going to use some Mylar tinsel, gold on the back, silver on the front, and the rib, which is, is the hot orange that I show here, of the ultra wire. It's a brassy, and um, you can use regular red, uh, red small, that's fine too, and uh, it's very, very nice fly to tie, so let's get to it. This is the last fly of the, the three series I'm putting on Don's website. They'll be selling these flies, and that's, uh, we, we have a set of three streamer patterns, and these are three that I selected to put on there. They're actually wet fly patterns. Call them streamers if you want. They're almost, call them either. They would be, wouldn't be wrong either way. So, let's get started. We'll get our thread started on the hook as usual. Dress, dress the shank the hook. Make sure we got a good thread base down there. Get one of our red hackle feathers. We go in the pinch off the side again. Tender some mount for the tail. Try to keep the tips fairly even. There we go. You can go gap length or even a little longer if you want. Looks looks pretty pretty nice with even a little longer tail on this one. I'm going to wrap these butts down and trim off some of this excess we have here. I'm going to get my red wire or hot orange, whatever. Looks the same basically anyway. Lay it on the hook shank. Keep it on the top. Keeps your body nice and even. And when you wrap these Mylar Timsel bodies, you want to keep the bodies fairly even. A lot of times you get a lot of bulk and they, they don't quite wrap right. So the best way to do it is to tie gold side up and tie it down on the front at an angle. Gold side up. Then wrap the mylar to the rear like next to each other and then we're going to come over and back to the front. That gives it a pretty nice nice even body. It's well covered. It's not going nowhere. Make sure you get it tied off. Time we stop, get a few turns on that. Throw a half hitch on there just so we don't lose it. And then I'm going to take my red wire, this heavy wire. I can change it up, space a little bit tighter than I like a little more wire showing. And this really looks cool when it comes at an angle. You're going to notice how it changes. 
just from the angle that uh, the fish will see it. it. Doesn't look always silver. It looks sometimes more red than than anything. Okay. Now we're going to take our um, throat. In this throat we're going to do a little different than the other ones. I'm going to just basically catch it on the bottom. Just tie it as a throat. Get my good uh, hackle here. Grizzly. Pinch it off. And tie it along the side and then I can roll it under. Trim it off. Not quite enough hackler. There's not enough barb count on this feather. I'm going to take another pinch. Tie it on the side. Roll it under. There we go. A few turns. Gives a nice little throat to the fly right there. You can go right to the point if you want with them. Then I'm going to take a little bit of my polar flash for the underwing. This is just another little add-on. Of course we get all these new synthetic materials to try out. Here's an old, old pattern with new materials and it just changed the look of it quite a bit. But it's effective either way. Don't I don't think that makes a difference. It's just a good, good solid pattern. And they claimed back then it was one of those flies that you use when nothing else would work. And I concur. I've used it times, and I'm just about kind of running out of options and go with the unusual looking kind of a uh, more of a lure is what it is. And and those fish will they'll take it. They're looking for it. So when I get my guinea off. Like that, I'm going to put it between my fingers here, just kind of fold it, and then we can kind of roll it in with our, our fingers, preen it back, and then set it on to about the end of the body, pinch it on the sides, up in between my fingers, and pull up. And that'll set that so it doesn't roll on either side, it should stay. And we'll start bend behind the eye with our thread. Nope, there's nothing there. Thought I'd seen a little bit of feather in there yet, but not. It's good. And we'll give her one, two, three, or four little whip finishes there. We'll then tip it off. Come in here with our solar res again, just to finish a pretty little fly off. It is. It's fun to tie and it's fun to fish like you can you can strip this fly pretty quick or be a little slow they'll hunt for it and they it's just unusual and and uh, you don't always have to be throwing imitative patterns at these fish they're they're opportunists if it looks like food or get put it in front of them and they'll chase there's a lot of fish eat lures so here you go all the best for this one. It's called Brent's Bloody Butcher. And it'll be online with Don's website. We got another bunch of those ready to go for him. And we'll give them a try. See how many folks uh, like to fish these wet flies. It's uh, a lot of fun and a lot of fun to tie them too. So good luck with that one. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.